Hello and welcome to the Cloud Perspective channel. Uh, in this stream, we'll learn you know, some of the best practices for Amazon VPC and making it highly available. So uh, we are going to have a hands-on workshop for that. This is infrastructure we already have deployed on AWS Cloud. And uh, we have a VPC virtual cloud private cloud and uh, in it we have two availability zone EZA and ZB wherein we have two public subnets okay one in each availability zone and two private subnets which are they were distributed in two availability zones so our task is you know to make this in first highly available in case if any availability zone goes down the other Availability zone in the you know the applications inside the other availability zones will be able to respond. So in case if availability zone A goes down, you know, uh, the resources in it is a D should be able to respond. So let me quickly log into my AWS console and uh, drive you through how we can troubleshoot you know some of the best practices like how we can you know troubleshoot the what's your product cloud so i'm logged into my aws management console and uh, and uh, let's navigate to vpc So we have two VPCs. I'm concerned more about this one. So let me just copy its ID. Okay, let's move into the subnets. Let's filter this uh, by VPC. Okay, so let's sort it. So we are having uh, four private subnets and two public subnets distributed across two availability zones. So here are the availability zones. So uh, let's just note it down further. It will be very easy, you know, later to match it with the route tables. So you can note, I usually note down all these things in notepads or you can use any other tool. Let's do it now. So here I've noted everything down. As you can see, we have a public subnet in us west 2a okay so public subnet one in 2a and uh, the other one in 2b we have two private subnets 1a and 1b in 2a so 1a and 1b in 2a okay. so same with the private subnets in will be zone b both are located in 2 so this is how the Subnets are divided across two already zone. Now let's uh, look at the route tables and identify what the issue. Basically, let's see if the issue is there or not. First of all, okay. let's look at the public subnet first. So, the public subnet first public subnet is located in US West two A. Let's just look at the route table of it. Uh, as you can see, the first entry goes is um, targeted local. Other one for all for all destination is going to the internet, which looks correct. Now let's look at the private subnet three. So private subnet one a. At the route table and so yeah, one a or oh, there is a local route. There is also one uh, NAT gateway target. Let's see, it is of oh, one a right. So yeah, one a. This is the net gateway. Organize it a little bit. 
or maybe we can uh, paste it downwards. Okay. So this is the NAT gateway that is being used by private subnet 1A. Okay. Let's look at the 1B. Apart from this, uh, everything looks good. So the same uh, NAT gateway target is there for the other private subnet, which is 1B. That is also fine. Let's look at the other availability zone. We'll look at the public subnet two. Public subnet two. Let's look at the route table. Okay, there is a local route and one goes to the internet gate. This looks good. Uh, now coming to the private subnet 2A. Okay. So the route table, we have three routes, one local, one is NAT gateway. As you can see, this NAT gateway in the other availability zone, it is using uh, the same NAT gateway. I think could be the culprit. Let's look at the other uh, private subnet. Route table. Okay, the same thing is over here as well. Let's move to the NAT gateway section. Okay, and let's look at NAT gateways available over here. As you can see from our observation, we found that both the subnets in uh, availability zone A and B, they are using the same NAT gateway which is totally incorrect. They should be having different NAT gateways okay, for making it highly, highly available. So let's say if we are using same NAT gateway and one of the NAT gateways goes down, okay, uh, we, and then we will be having availability issues. Okay. So let's look at this NAT gateway first, which is D8. Okay, and uh, looking at the details, we can come to know that subnet that it is using, it is in public subnet two. Okay, so this is the, sorry, it's D8, NAT gateway ID is D8. So basically this should be the NAT gateway configured over here, rather than this A81. Okay. Let's look at the A8 as well. It is uh, in the public subnet one. Okay, so this is the correct one. We don't need to make any changes over here. We only need to make change for these two private subnets, which are wrongly mapped to the uh, NAT gateway. Okay, so let's go back to our subnets. Okay, open up the private subnet two A and the route table. Let's just first copy the NAT gateway ID from here and uh, go back to the route table, click on the route table ID. Okay. Let's look at the routes, edit routes, and we'll change it to D8. Click on save. Okay, it's correct. The map now. Now let's do the same thing for the private subnet 2B. Okay, private subnet 2B route table and edit it in the new session. All right, go to the routes and click on edit routes. Let's just replace it. Okay, we are done with our changes. Now let's verify it. So yeah, it's time to validate now. Let's click on check. It's gonna take a while and 
will be able to validate. Okay. As you can see, it says that you know the VPC, uh, this private subnet two B and one B is having some issue. Let's just troubleshoot it now. Okay, now let's look at the routes again. Or maybe there is something wrong with the routes. Let's look at the private subnet 1A route first. Private subnet 1A. And in the routes, look at it. We uh, can see that it is pointing to the correct uh, net gateway. Okay, let's look at the other one. Private subnet 1B, okay, routes. Okay, here is the problem. It is pointing to the wrong net gateway. We got to edit it. Okay, click on edit routes. Instead of, you know, A8 is pointing to D8. It's pointed to the correct one. Click on save. Moving back to the route tables, private subnet 2A. Let's look at the route of private subnet 2A. Okay, clicking on the routes, you can see it's D8. Okay, this seems to be correct. Net gateway, now looking to private subnet 2B. Okay. The other routes to be it should be D8 over here, which is incorrect. Let's quickly edit it, make it point to D8. So, click on edit routes and we are done. Let's quickly validate it. Okay, I'll check it again. So as you can see, it has passed all the validation checks. So this is how, you know, you can implement Amazon VPC high availability best practices. And this is how you can troubleshoot you know, VPC and make it highly available. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe and like my Cloud Perspective channel. And do let me know what more videos you want to see. Thanks.